that better? Well, I feel like that is like as good as it's gonna get. Well, hi everyone, it's Sunny. If you guys have been around, then you know that my camera broke and it's going through repairs right now. So I am on my phone. Of course, this would happen to me. All of my electronics are literally just breaking down on me. If you guys have been around my channel, then you know that one thing about me is that I'm a broke college student. Anyone else? That's why I do majority, if not all, of my reading. Also, I'm sorry, there's like cars passing by. And that's why I am an e-book girl. I do literally all of my reading either on my phone or on my e-reader. I got this Kobo two years ago, I think. Loved it so much. Used it so, so much. Literally every single day, everywhere. There was not any place I would go where I don't have this. I would literally put this, shove it in my pocket. One thing about the Kobo Clara that I did not think would be an issue, turns out it was an issue, for me at least, is that it's not waterproof i didn't care about this fact because i'm like okay in what situation would i ever be reading in water you know but <laughs> as i was strolling down the streets of quebec city I honestly don't know what happened i think like either my water bottle or something like leaked and i didn't realize until i came home and my entire bag was like sopping wet and i was like luckily like nothing really that important was in there except for this and i was like there's no chance and honestly it was like pretty fine it was just like acting up i needed to restart it and i did but then a couple days ago i don't know if you can tell but see those like lines across the screen that just like showed up and i was like what is that and it would not turn on i can't turn it off can't turn it on nothing and i was like <laughs> Seriously, right. It's the end of an era. That is why I ended up caving and I bought a new e-reader. This time I bought the Kindle Paperwhite. I know, I know, I know. It's from Jeff Bezos. I did my research and this seemed honestly like the best option. So we're gonna do a little setup type video. The Kindle Paperwhite. This is the new one, I think. Like not the 2018. It's like bigger. It's waterproof. Not want what happened to happen again. This one, I swear to God, I need to use this for the rest of my life. 16 gigabyte, which in what situation would you ever need 16 gigabytes worth of books? Not me. I feel like that is like thousands and thousands of books. I've never had a Kindle before. I figured that this would be honestly a worth it investment for me. Personally, because reading books and making videos about them is literally my job. And I read all my books on here. Also, I think I can do comparisons. I feel like right away, you can tell the size difference. I feel like this won't fit in my pocket anymore. Okay, honestly, in my opinion, size is like not that much of like a big, big deal, I feel like, because whatever size you get, you will just adjust to it. I remember when I first got this, wishing that it was like a little bit bigger. Also, I have big hands. I have massive hands like for my size. This is kind of perfect. This is, I think, six inch screen, and then this is 6.8. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. For the vampire diaries playing in the background i think that i got my kindle like all set up now the only thing that's left to do is to actually add all the books that i want unfortunately i can't get my kobo to like turn on so i can't even like see all the books that were on there but i know there's a lot more that i want to put on here but luckily kindle makes it so easy to like transfer all your files not that i'm condoning pirating books but like if you have ebook files and stuff that you read Kindle's so much easier than I didn't realize because now they support EPUB, which all of mine were EPUB files. But I have the Kindle app on my phone now. And if you just like put it onto your Kindle app, it will automatically come onto your Kindle. And then same thing with like on your laptop, you can like upload it through Amazon and then it will automatically go onto your Kindle. That's actually so, so, so convenient. I love that so much. I need to like look more into that and then I'll like try to see if I can sort them into like collections and stuff. Yeah, but so far I 
love this. Oh my gosh, look at all the fingerprints that are on there already. <laughs> This can't be. I also have a case, just a clear case, but I wanted to like put stickers and stuff on it and make it like all cute and personalized. I'm gonna do that too. I'll show you guys the case. It's also from Jeff Bezos. It's been, it actually hasn't been that long at all. As you saw in those clips, I've had like a day to grow a custom to my new Kindle. It's not a decorated mine, but I literally, as you saw last night, I spent an embarrassingly long amount of time trying to decide what I wanted to do. I have very limited resources here, so when I go home, I'll like do this better, Um, obviously. But right now, this is what I have. I just quickly drew these little pen drawings. I just saw them from Pinterest. And then I just wrote down some of my favorite quotes. This one, she's the type of flower that can still grow after a forest fire. I have that on my phone home screen too. This one is originally for this photo it says i'm bad with words i hope you're good in reading eyes so cute and this one is one that says and finally she chose herself so i just like those quotes so i stuck them on here so after one whole day i have a few points that i wanted to bring up about the kindle versus kobo debacle so i have both of them here okay so the first one is the one thing about the kobo that i miss is that there's no progress bar oh, i wish i could show you obviously i can't because i can't turn this on on the kobo as you read there's like a little bar it's like a youtube video like there's a bar at the bottom that shows you the progress that you have through a book and it honestly helped me read so 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 much quicker in books because it felt like i was reading more like i could see the progress bar and it would move so quickly obviously because the width of this is like so much bigger than the width of like an actual book we don't have that on the kindle what we do have is like like the percentage here which i guess you can just look at that percentage and try to visualize it if you want or they have a time calculator here and if you tap it you can change what the progress is i have it set for like the time left to finish the book we can do time left to like finish in the chapter but i like doing it for the entire book um you can also do a page number but like on pirated books they don't have page numbers that's something that i miss about the kobo not that i pirate book not that I condone it. You always had page numbers. I don't know what they were. They're like, honestly, they're like standardized page numbers across EPUBs or something like that. But for some reason on the Kindle, it doesn't have it. I always like to keep track by page number and I could like guesstimate how many page numbers correspond to like how fast I can read. So normally on the Kobo, like around 100 pages would take me like an hour or so. And so I could like kind of guess how much time I had. Although I guess on the Kindle, they kind of do the time thingy for you. So maybe it's not a big deal, but that is just something that I did notice and I kind of missed. Surely I'm going to adjust to this way of measuring measuring too. Oh, second on the Kindle that I actually love so much is that you can choose whether or not you want to have the cover displayed. Right now, I have the cover not displayed. So when you turn it off, it honestly changes every single picture, but I kind of like the pictures and I want to like see if I can get through Ash, Catch and Catch Em All. Normally just like something related to like reading or like writing. This is like a fountain pen and ink. You go into device options. You can choose whether or not you want to display the cover. If we do that, then it displays the cover of the book. So this is the book that I'm reading right now. I really like this. <laughs> I like this because if you have an embarrassing cover you can just cover that right up okay also i heard about like the ad thing in kindle where like sometimes it will like put ads for other books on here instead of like the cover or anything like that and you need to pay to remove it i don't think that's a thing in canada maybe it's just a thing in the u.s but that is kind of a slay oh my gosh you can also put a passcode on here i didn't realize that okay next thing highlighting highlighting on the kindle is so much smoother than it is on the kobo i'm just gonna highlight something random on here so this is like highlighting on the kindle it's such a smoother non buggier experience than the kobo if there are a lot of times on here when i would highlight something and i highlight a lot so sometimes on the kobo it just like would glitch out or like not work or it was like a little bit buggy i feel like kindle system runs a lot smoother than kobo fortunately and unfortunately because jeff Bezos 
phrases. Oh my gosh, about the highlighting. Like I said, I would highlight passages and passages at a time. And sometimes it would like go across multiple pages, right? On the Kobo, I would have to like do some finicky business in order to like highlight in like two different sections. Or I would like adjust the text setting so that it could show up on one page and I could highlight it all in one. On the Kindle, if your highlight bleeds through to the next page, if you just hold it here, it literally goes to the next page. Did you see that? That is such a game changer. And like, even if you just look at the page animation, do you see what's happening on those highlights? Like that little shoop happening? Like it is just so smooth. Also, Kindle connects to Goodreads, which I didn't know. Kobo doesn't do that. Books that you like buy from the Kindle store or like Prime store or whatever, automatically connected to Goodreads. So like as you're reading it, you can like update your progress and status like right from like reading the book, which I thought was really cool. Obviously if it's pirated, However, that brings me to the next thing, which is prime reading. I know that everybody and anybody always talks about Kindle Unlimited. I never had any plans to get Kindle Unlimited. However, I do have Amazon Prime because what am I on? A Prime student subscription. <gasps> I graduated. Do I still have student prime? Uh, I didn't know that prime reading was a thing. Why didn't no one tell me about prime reading? Like Kindle Unlimited, where some books are available through prime reading. If you have a prime subscription, it like comes free of cost. Anything that you highlight, you can like share it to Goodreads, like directly from the book. That is such a game changer. Next, sending EPUB files. It is so easy to like transfer EPUB files onto here. And Kindle didn't use to support EPUB, which is actually why I ended up getting the Kobo at the beginning. However, now they do. With my Kobo, I'm, like I would have to plug it into my laptop and then like manually transfer the file. But with with this, I use the Kindle app. Any EPUB files that I have, I can share it from my phone to Kindle and then it automatically syncs if it's connected to Wi-Fi. Um, how amazing is that? And then you can just have it both on file and if you're reading, you can like sync it to each other. You know what I mean? Just like the Amazon like connected like ecosystem. So seamless. Like it reminds me of like Apple. Like I feel like it's like Apple versus freaking window. One caveat 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 is that it doesn't have automatic brightness adjustment and my Kobo did honestly so convenient and I took it for granted I almost exclusively read most of my books like at nighttime the lights turned off like right before I went to bed I would just like read it like this and it was so convenient when I had my Kobo to just flip it open and then it would just like adjust the brightness automatically at least this version of the Kindle unfortunately doesn't I know the signature edition which is exactly like this except it has like wireless charging more storage and automatic brightness adjustment this one doesn't it's like not that big a deal but I just like feel like I need to get into the habit of like adjusting it before turning off the lights It's just like one little extra step. Oh, the other thing about Kobo I know is that it connects to Libby like connect to overdrive on Canadian libraries I know it doesn't do that if you're in the US you can connect it to your library But if you're in Canada, you can't which is another reason why I bought the Kobo before but actually I don't use it at all If I like wanted to use Libby for something I normally just did it on my phone I have to say like the hype is there for a reason and I, I don't think that you would like notice all these things about Kindle versus Kobo If you didn't like try both but like I tried both let me tell you there is a difference it's like so much less buggy i feel like maybe i've only had it for one month so i don't really know like if i had to god forbid that something happens to her because i swear to god that i want to use her until i die but if i had to replace my e-reader i think i would go for the kindle paperwhite oh also flush screen doesn't make that much of a difference to me but i will say that even though it is a flush screen when you're looking at it for some reason the page looks like it is like one thing below i don't know how they did that that's my final verdict on that you're gonna be seeing a lot more of her hopefully she's gonna be decorated a little more to my liking when I go back home. Okay, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, you can DM me on my Instagram at Reads. Hopefully this was helpful. Be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Follow me on my socials. They're all linked in the description. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.